Hi, is the wedding of Vice Ganda in Las Vegas valid or illegal? Let's discuss. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dean Rod Berra. I'm a law school professor and a law school dean. Before we begin, and if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It's free and it gives you good luck. And if you do like and subscribe, it'll give you three years of better luck. In this video, we will discuss the wedding of Vice Kanda and Eon Perez in Las Vegas. The couple, albeit they're in the same gender, got married last October 2021 in Las Vegas. It was only revealed recently that they did get married in the state of Nevada. And I've been asked several times, being a law school dean, what is my opinion on this marriage? Before we begin, let me point out that this is just my opinion, not necessarily the opinion of other lawyers or other professors or maybe the courts. I will just give my interpretation and construction of the law when it applies to Vice Kanda and Eon Perez. According to the Family Code, the law that is controlling over marriages, one of the essential requisites of a marriage is the legal capacity of a couple that must be male and female. And it says also in the same law that the lack of any of the essential requisites or requirements would make the marriage void. There might be some debate that the essential requisite is not necessarily the gender, but the legal capacity. I am of the view, based on Article 2, that the parties must be male and female for the marriage not to be void. So, is it a valid marriage? Well, let's discuss. First, let me point out that, in essence, there is no illegal marriages in this country. Now, some lot of students will tell you, but there's bigamy. The crime of bigamy is punishing the person who got married twice, not necessarily the innocent spouse. But the crime of bigamy does not bear any significance or legality or validity on the bigamous marriage. It will still be considered void under our laws, but not necessarily illegal. Take the word illegal as not being uh, allowed by law, but is it a crime? Meaning, is it out of the law? Why they say that? Because there are several instances where marriages are absolutely void. Those that are between minors, those that are between ascendants and descendants. But those parties who contract that void marriage are not necessarily criminals. Now, going back to the void marriage. Our laws under the Family Code has a distinct list of what is considered void. Aside from Article 2, which says that if there is a lack of the essential or essential requirements, being the gender or legal capacity, it is void. Then we have Article 35 of the Family Code, which lists down certain instances where the marriage will be considered void. If you want to see that list, I will put a link in the description below so you can see what are those void marriages under Article 35. We also have Article 36 and 37, which lists down other void marriages based on technicalities or other certain facts. Then we have Article 45, which declares certain marriages with certain conditions are annullable, which means they're actually valid until declared void by the court. Meaning those marriages under Article 45 of the Family Code are seen as valid but if someone goes to court to declare the marriage void, then it is considered void, but annulled. And going back to the void marriages, these are void marriages that are absolutely void from the beginning. Meaning the court will not recognize those marriages. Now, going back to the wedding or the marriage of Vaiskanda and Ion Perez, the controlling law here or the controlling provision of the law is Article 26 of the Family Code, which states... And we point it out here that all marriages contracted abroad are valid insofar as the country that uh, issues or uh, declares them married. Except for certain conditions or certain instances under Article 35, 36, 
37, and 38, but not Article 2, which means Article 26 of the Family Code will declare a marriage between a male and another male, or a female and a female, as valid because it does not declare them void under Article 26. Now, what does that mean? There is a interpretation of the law, or my interpretation, is that Article 26 declares any marriage contracted outside the Philippines, let's say in America, and if it's valid in America, it will be considered valid here, except for the following conditions under, under Articles 35, 36, 37, and 38. Now, let's talk about divorce. And as you know, there's been several bills filed in Congress uh, granting the decree of divorce or ending the marriage by divorce decree. Are marriages valid here? Not necessarily. They are considered recognized insofar as if one of the parties wants to get married again. Let me repeat. The divorce, we don't have divorce here. Technically, divorce is not allowed or not, or, um, not uh, valid under the law, but they are recognized under certain conditions. First, the spouses who obtain a divorce were both foreigners. So granted, if two are, two are foreigners, they are considered divorced. Second, if the divorce is between a Filipina or a Filipino spouse and a foreigner spouse, and the foreigner spouse obtains or applies for that divorce, then the divorce will be recognized insofar as the Filipino spouse. Lately, the Supreme Court case, I will set up here, determined that a couple who are Filipinos at the time of marriage, one of them had a green card, became an American citizen, and then obtained a divorce as an American citizen, our courts have determined that the divorce obtained by the Filipino that became an American is recognized. In the last three years, the Supreme Court came out with a case saying that a Filipino or Filipina who got married here to a foreigner spouse and that Filipina went to the country of that foreign spouse and got a divorce with that foreign spouse. So in a sense, it's still the Filipina who was still a Filipino citizen who obtained a divorce in a foreign country, that divorce was recognized. And hence, that Filipina was allowed to get married again. So what we have here is something that is not valid, not allowed under the law, but it is recognized insofar as that the one who got the divorce was is allowed to get married again. So what we have here is something we do not allow, but recognize. If we recognize Divorce, which we do not allow, should we recognize same-sex marriages, which we do not allow? Let me give you another analogy. We recognize things or recognize conditions, events, titles, which we do not allow here. For example, royalty. We have the royal family in Saudi Arabia. We have the royal family from England. And Japan has an emperor. Now, do we, do we declare them as illegal, as not valid? No. We recognize them and we respect them. Let me go down simpler. What about foreign doctors or foreign lawyers? They are not licensed here. They never took the board exam here. They never took the bar exam here. Do we declare them as illegal lawyers? No. We respect and recognize their degrees, their accomplishments, and we give them respect. We allow them to attend conferences here or conventions, give speeches. And let's not talk about doctors or engineers or lawyers. What about those who obtain masters in, let's say, MBA or Master of Arts? Do we not recognize them? Do we say, since it was not uh, obtained in this country, we don't recognize that? We don't do that, do we? Okay, to summarize, our laws state that it is essential requisite that the parties in a marriage must be male and female. But we recognize marriages contracted abroad as long as they are valid in that country where the marriage was done. And on that same article, if certain marriages that were contracted abroad are considered void here based on Articles 35, 36, 37, and 38, but not Article 2, which has to be male and female. Lastly, we recognize something that we do not allow here, which is divorces or foreign divorces. I would love to hear your opinion about this. We can, we can have a healthy discussion 
please put your feelings in the comment section below and I will hopefully I can address them. Remember, this Dean Bear saying, it's not what you know, it's what they don't know. Hi, please do me a favor and smash that like button. It'll help me a lot and it will trigger the YouTube algorithm. Now, if you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you don't, my dog will eat this exam booklet and that student has to repeat his final exam again.